In Southeast Portland, it's a tribute 30 years in the making. These new sign toppers honor Mulugeta Sarau. He was a very sweet, uh, kind kid. The 28-year-old college student from Ethiopia was murdered here, beaten to death by a group of white supremacists. That is the worst news I received in my entire life. Wulugeta's uncle, Engadao Brahanu, will never forget that day and sees parallels between then and now. Things I don't think have improved since then. Um, in fact, they may have gotten worse. So the parallel would be when the Max murder. Dr. Randy Blazak chairs the Oregon Coalition Against Hate Crimes. He's also an expert on white supremacists. When Mulugeta was murdered, he was with them undercover. I was with a group of skinheads in Orlando, Florida, uh, when I heard that it happened, and they were quite excited. They, they were thinking that this was going to be their time, that they were going to start their revolution, and Sarah was the first casualty. While the skinhead movement has mostly disbanded, Blazak says others have replaced it. The Proud Boys and the alt-right, I mean, it's just sort of a new version of, of the same hate that we saw in the 80s and the 90s. Blazak believes what has changed in 30 years is society's response to hate crimes, how it cares for victims, families, and communities. Tributes like this. To effect change, uh, I want to, that to be his uh, uh, tribute. And educating the public to love instead of hate. If another family is spared from our tragedy by presenting programs like this, his death would have not been in vain. And tomorrow morning, PBOT will dedicate those street sign toppers on Southeast 31st and Pine. And tomorrow afternoon at City Hall, the mayor will read a proclamation declaring November 13th, Mulugeta Sarah Day.